real big problem trying to find somewhere to eat today. Usually I will walk around and I will ask different places if they do uh, if they do vegan. And um, you know, today I don't really have the time. I've got about one hour to find a place, eat, order, leave, blah blah blah. So I had to kind of cheat a little bit today and um, I kind of used Google Maps just to <laughs> search the first place which was a uh, vegan or vegetarian. One place came up, it was labelled as vegan, um, sorry as vegetarian, so I'm not too sure if they're going to do vegan, but uh, I'm trying to find it a little bit difficult <laughs> to find, oh okay okay I found it, perfect, so let's find out if they do vegan. And this is the place we're checking out today. Let's go take a look inside. So after quickly going through the menu, I decided on two different dishes. The first dish I decided to go with was the five spice vegan soy. And then after that, I decided to go with the ramen noodle. At only 16 zloty for this whole meal, it was really, really great value. It was packed with lots of vegetables. It was served with rice and the overall flavor was absolutely amazing. After I had finished my main, I moved on to the ramen and this portion size was huge. For the price, it was 17 zloty, which again is amazing value. If you're a backpacker or you're looking to kind of fill yourself for the day, these two meals are absolutely perfect for you at the value. The quality was absolutely amazing. The service was perfect. But I am still blown away by this vegan beef. I challenge you all to try it yourself and see if you can see the difference. Rice, that was absolutely amazing. From the outside, I wasn't too sure what to expect. It seemed really small and it was completely random that I found it. But wow, the, the variations of vegan food was amazing. Vegan beef, <laughs> whoever thought it was vegan beef. And they also do uh, vegan shrimps. So they kind of use like a vegan substitute, kind of a, um, like a tofu and they shape it into like fish shapes so they have like a vegan fish menu i was so blown away and some of the nicest most polite lovely staff i've ever had the option to see i was absolutely blown away you can find a full review in the video description of this and i'll go into depth of what i ordered how much it was you can see the menu but i can really really recommend that now, place. i'm sure everybody is going to think that i only eat out every single day but it's not true Today we're celebrating me and Joanna getting 10,000 likes on Facebook, but I'm still sticking strict to the vegan. So far we got edamame. I'm not gonna do a big full food review because it's our special night, but this is where we are. I'm not gonna try and murder the name, <laughs> but I'll tell you if it's good or not afterward. Bag. Yeah, so we got pumpkin, peanut, and something else. What was the other one? Mm -hmm. Tempeh with something green inside. <laughs> it's vegan, I know that. Yeah, it was good. It's cheap, central, nice, nice different. The one thing that I didn't really like from a vegan point of view is nothing was labelled. No vegetarian, so, no gluten free, no Every vegan or anything like that. So an interesting just something that I've learned about being a vegan. Do you want to know what my interesting fact is today? Yeah, I guess it's okay. going to shock me like all the other ones. <laughs> well, I don't know how true it is because I read it on the internet but supposedly vegans, strict vegans don't eat honey at all. What do you think of that? Why? Really? I don't know. Why? I don't know because it comes from a living oh, thing and it's yeah, like okay. because they harvest it for the winter and then people steal it and eat yeah, it. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Interesting fact of the day. So that's day four over.